But we're going to jump into our first news of the day where residents gathered on Thursday to mourn several Palestinians who were killed by Israeli forces during a large-scale raid in the occupied West Bank. Officials said Israeli forces killed at least nine Palestinians, including a 61-year-old woman, and wounded several others. The Israeli military also fatally shot a 22-year-old Palestinian in a separate incident later, raising the death toll to at least 10. It was the deadliest single operation within the territory in two decades. Meanwhile, in Jenin, the bodies of the victims were wrapped in flags before they were laid to rest. However, the raid raises the risk of a major conflict between Israel and Palestine while also casting a shadow on U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and his expected trip to the region next week. At least 30 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces in the West Bank this year, including militants and civilians following operations in the area. Meanwhile, more than 150 Palestinians were also killed in the area as the dead include unarmed civilians, militant gunmen, and arm attackers.